Hello, this is Andrew with WMH Racing. And a while ago, uh, I made a video about uh, the Mini Pro uh, 2 Dyno. And this, this video is not about that, but uh, I, I kind of showed off when I was running it, my uh, variable voltage power supply. And I'll go ahead and plug this in now, right? All right. Um, so I use this power supply to run the Mini Pro or any other things that, that I might want a variable voltage for. Uh, now, this particular one will go from about 4.5 volts uh, all the way to 12.2 uh, volts. Um, and then I got some requests uh, to show how I did the mod to this, this power supply. So one of the things that I need to go over, um, however, is that this the, the power supplies you can do this on are limited. Um, so this video is going to pertain to one specific model of HP power supply. And that is this one right here, the HSTNS-PL11. Okay, this video pertains to this power supply and this power supply only. I've tried this with some of the uh, other 750 watt power supplies and they will not drop, the, the voltage will not drop down uh, as far as uh, this one will. So I think I was able, only able to get down to like eight and a half volts before the power supply turned off. Whereas this power supply, uh, it will stay on. Um, two, I think two and a half volts. This is absolute lowest it will go if you get the resistance just right. But if you get the resistance there, you're probably going to lose some voltage on the top end. Or maybe not. Uh, you could possibly use a, a, a higher value potentiometer actually uh, to make it work. Um, all right. So... This video uh, basically is just going to go over uh, how how it's going to make this work, right? So I, I said it uh, goes up to uh, 12.2, uh, down to roughly 4.5 volts. All right, so I'm going to unplug this and, and put it up. The first thing uh, we need to do uh, is we need to solder a resistor uh, onto uh, the... Well, they're actually pins 33 and 36, um, but that's the first pin on the left and uh, counting over from the left, the fourth pin. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, solder a resistor there. I'm going to use a 220 ohm resistor. A 330 ohm will also work. Uh, and a 470 ohm may work. I can't guarantee that. Um, some are some. Some of these might might require uh, two hundred and twenty. Some you know some you can get away with uh, three thirty, and and some some you can't get away with the four seventy. But there's there's no guarantee. So is put some uh, put some solder on these. And then we're going to uh, solder the resistor in place. All right. All right. And that's good enough for the... Uh, demonstration purposes i'll go through and, and fix that up uh, a little bit better later all right and what i'm going to do is i'm going to power on the power supply and hook the let's see if that actually comes on yeah the green light comes on and i'm going to hook up my uh multimeter to it and show that we are reading 12 volts and you can see that over there, 12.3 volts. All right, awesome. So I'm going to undo this. Unplug this. And really, you should let this sit for a few minutes before you actually open the case. Uh, there's uh, big capacitors in there. I'm not going to mess with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up the case. There are a few screws to unscrew here.
uh, and this one has not been open so it's probably nice and, and dirty in here Uh, I do recommend uh, probably getting refurbished ones if, if you do buy these. So one of the one of the problems you're going to run into though is when you go to buy these, if you're going to do this mod, uh, when you go to buy these, you're, you get a lot of the sales are a uh, random model, so random 1200 uh, watt models, and they're not all uh, the same model. And this is the only model that I can uh, guarantee that works with. All right, so this mod, what we're going to do is we have a potentiometer in here that we need to we need to pull out. And I'm going to, let's see, get my tweezers. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, maybe. So this potentiometer right here, okay, and there are two resistors here, a 1K uh, and a 100 ohm resistor to produce 1.1K. Uh, you can also remove these two resistors um, and, and do the mod using that, but I find it easier to remove the potentiometer. And this is a 100 ohm uh, potentiometer. Uh, so what we'll do is we're going to remove this potentiometer and we're going to replace it with a 5K potentiometer and a big old, you know, big old pot, right? Uh, and this this is what we're we're going to replace it with. You could use a 10K, um, and a 10K will will get you uh, a, a larger uh, voltage drop um, for uh, the it'll, it'll go down further, right? So, like I said, the mine only goes down to roughly four and a half volts. Uh, because I use the 5k well you could also uh, use uh, like I said you, you can replace these uh, replace these resistors you can take these resistors out and run your wires uh, and leave the potentiometer in there as well um, I just like I said I find it's easier to remove the potentiometer but I also have a hot air station uh, which is what you're really gonna need to remove this potentiometer and let's see if we can get a clear picture I'm not sure I'll be able to show you removing this but I'm just going to use my hot air station get nice and hot for me melt the solder Trying to do this on camera is really fun. All right, got that off of there. And I'm gonna put a little bit more uh, solder on those make it a little bit easier to solder our wires on there All right, so uh, looking at these, you can see on the um, uh, on the silk screen uh, one, two, and three, and those go to the legs of the potentiometer. Um, you can switch one and three, all depending on how you want to turn the dial. Um, but if you put uh, if you put one uh, all the way to the right, so on the right leg of the potentiometer, and you make that one. Uh, then turning to the right will increase the voltage and turning to the left will decrease the voltage. All right. And just make sure you get the number two, the two leg in the middle. That's your actual slider. 
All right, so I am going to do, I, and I'm going to make it so you turn turn to the right and it increases voltage. So I just need to solder these wires in here. Got one. And I cut these wires uh, beforehand to make this a little bit easier and not have to do this during the demonstration. You're gonna kind of wrap them in here, push them down. You want these to kind of lay flat on top of the circuit. And we're gonna take the power supply cover, put it back on, screw it back in. And that's enough for demonstration purposes. I'll come back to that. Let's see. I got some. Let's go zoom back out. I got some heat shrink I'm going to put on these. There we go. I am going to bend all these tabs down make this a little easier on me to solder to it. Use one of these. Sorry, my hands are kind of in the way and not really uh, talking very much here. So really, this is just a quick construction video, right? <laughs> Try to make this not too long. All right, so I'm just going to put the heat shrink on these. Got them all soldered in. So now I got a potentiometer on there, 5K, like I said, still a little warm. I pulled on just a touch. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to plug it back in again. So should be all the way right. The voltage should be all the way up. So it should be 12 volts. I am going to uh, connect the multimeter so we can see the output. And all right, I am at 12.6 volts. And if I spin this down, I get down to 4.45 volts. All right, awesome, spin it back up back up to 12.6. Now, like I said, um, you can add more resistance um, to to make it so it goes down further. Uh, if you put a uh, 50 ohm 
uh, resistor in series with the red wire uh, that will drop the voltage down to about 12.2 uh, on the max side and it might go down to like 4.2 or 4. Now I don't think it'll get down to 4.2 but uh, point being the, the more resistance you add in there the, the lower you can actually get the voltage um, but if you're putting the resistance in series and not just switching it out for a different potentiometer um, then you're going to lose voltage on the high side. So I would be careful with that because you do want the power supply to output, you know, somewhere around 12 volts if you want to use it for your uh, uh, chargers. Uh, the other thing I want to uh, mention is, you know, why didn't I not just use a 10K potentiometer? And the reason being, um, it's hard enough with a 5K getting the resolution I want. I mean, let's say you want to put it on uh, 8.4 volts. Let's see, put it on 8.4 volts. I mean... It's kind of hard to 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 move in there around there and, and get so you know around the the eight point four volts so so it's not easy and it it you know you, you got to fiddle with it right um, and a ten k the resolution is going to be even worse right so it, it's going to have more steps for for a lower or for a smaller uh, change so it's going to be even harder to hone in on the voltage you're looking for. Uh, so other than that, uh, the last thing I got to say about this is this is, uh, plugged into, uh, you know, our, our standard AC mains, um, and be careful, uh, if you're going to do this, on, only mess with that board, uh, don't, don't actually go inside the power supply and mess with those, uh, capacitors, um, yeah, th those capacitors, uh, Pertain, uh, contain possible lethal uh, they, they could possibly have a lethal discharge if you were to uh, connect your body across them uh, so yeah uh, don't yeah don't 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 mess with those all right um, second thing uh, when I use this I run two in parallel you know two of these power power supplies in parallel uh, so you set the voltage to the same on both power supply and you hook positive to positive and negative to negative on the actual power supplies. And this will allow you to get more um, amperage. Uh, some, so when I run the Mini Pro, I run two in parallel. Uh, one in parallel or one might work just fine for something like a 21.5 motor and maybe even a, a 17.5. And if you lower the voltage down, um, it'll probably be fine. But anything more than, than a 17.5, you'll definitely need uh, two. All right. Um, I am actually going to have a few of these for sale on my website. Uh, I will, uh, I, 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 I will make them. Um, I've had a few people reach out to me, uh, wanting, wanting some custom units. So I'm, I've got some more power supplies, uh, on order. Um, and, and I will make them. Uh, but if you guys want to, uh, you want to try it yourself. So Here's your video. All right, thanks for watching.